The Promax Tommy Rail is crafted from solid, hard-coated American aluminum and attaches to the outside of the lower push flange, creating a powerful structural link similar to an automotive rear-end four-bar linkage setup. It's designed to work with the company's Tommy wheel bearing puller, allowing technicians to apply even more force to the wheel hub to make any wheel bearing removal quick and easy. Here to tell us more is Jeffrey Del Rosa, president and founder of Promax Tool. Thanks for joining me, Jeffrey. Sure. Thank you, Amanda, for having me today. So first of all, I'm really interested to hear from you about why you think that Tommy Rail is getting so much interest from P10 readers. Well, one of the reasons I think it's, in, uh, it's intriguing to people because wheel bearings and removal wheel bearings has been a problem for many years. And now with the new uh, applications and, and suspensions, uh, manufacturers have made it easier, more economical to put a bearing together in a hub and insert that into a cast aluminum knuckle like you're seeing here in a Ford Explorer. We often compare this to a four bar linkage that's set up for a rear end. Most of your technicians know that a four bar linkage is designed for high output uh, applications like where you have race cars or even street cars that are out there now that are delivering significant amount of horsepower, four, five, 600, 700 horsepower. Well, four bar linkage keeps that whole rear end intact, keeps it parallel to the front end uh, and able to handle the large amount of horsepower that engine puts out and the amount of torque that the um, engine puts out to deliver movement in the, in the chassis. The Tommy rail is the same type of thing. What it does is it acts like that because it, what it does is structurally makes everything one unit. So it acts as a unit you know, like a four bar linkage. So the more power I put down, the more power that the whole assembly and Tommy can handle. The good news is the knuckle on the vehicle can handle a tremendous amount of force. Um, and Tommy as well. So the additional Tommy rail gives that ability to expand and add more force that Tommy can take up. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That makes sense to me then why the readers are, you know, clicking on it like crazy and sharing it on social. Um, and I think you did already touch a little bit, you know, on this already, Jeffrey, but can you just kind of summarize and elaborate if you can on why this product makes the lives of technicians easier and, you know, makes them more productive in the shop? Sure. Right now, the solution to getting a wheel bearing off a car, uh, particularly a very difficult one, which Tommy was designed to, to, uh, to support, is that uh, due to salt, um, gravel, uh, rain, rust, et cetera, you have a lot of corrosion, Amanda, taking place between the bearing race, which is metal, and the aluminum casting, of course, and those two interact chemically. Well, what's happening is the technicians can take a great deal amount of time to actually physically get the bearing off. Um, many times they have to physically remove this knuckle from the vehicle, take it to a press and press the bearing out. And that could take upwards around three hours to do that. Oh, the wow. other, the, yeah, the downside of that is when they bring the knuckle back to the vehicle, they have to realign the front end. That costs the customer more money and the shop more time to be able to actually complete the repair to get the car out of the uh, engine bay. What's nice about Tommy Rails, it uh, allows you to put more energy on the uh, Tommy configuration, like I said before, mm -hmm. but it doesn't require the knuckle to be removed, so it saves them an incredible amount of time. Okay. Typically, um, bearings can be removed in just around five minutes um, versus uh, up to three hours, the way the conventional methods are done today. So wow. Save Wow, yeah. yeah, what a difference. Oh my goodness, yeah. I didn't realize it was that much of a time saving. That's incredible. Well, not only that, but you know, because there's a, a real demand on technicians out in the market, you know this, that there's been yeah. a real struggle with shops, uh, dealerships, et cetera, to hire more technicians, mm -hmm. put them in the automotive field. Is, there's just not a lot of people out there. Mm -hmm. So our objective, it always has been a pro max, is to make people more productive in their job. And this is another target product to do that allows them to get something out in five to 10 minutes that would normally take something up to three hours. Yeah. The complications that's involved. So, right. but the technology is simple. It's basically a straight lateral force, mm -hmm. uh, uh, longitudinal force to pull straight out. Mm -hmm. Tommy Rail allows you to put more force than ever before with that device and uh, allows you to position anywhere you need to, to help to take up the energy. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, and I, you know, I know Jeff, we're not in the shop right now, but is there anything that you could sort of show us of how it works a little bit, or maybe kind of walk us through how, how you use it? Sure. What we do is we have a set screw, real simple. 
um, and it has a, you probably can't see this, but there's a little bit of a kind of a bump on this uh, device. And what that allows Tommy Rail to do is rotate. So you, it takes up irregularities in the cast of the bearing flange. So you have your bearing flange, it's in your vehicle, it's cast. And anyone knows that on a casting, the finish is not as necessarily as good as on a machine surface, right? They've got mm -hmm. some um, indentations. There's usually some protrusions. It's just rough casting. What this allows it to do is allows Tommy Rail to pivot and allow it to take up those irregularities in the bottom of the casting of the bearing. All they have to do is simply use their cess screw and tighten it down. And what that does allows the force to be able now triangulated through the push rods, but also be resisted with Tommy Rail. That allows them to put more force, more energy. Now, if you think about it, um, some of your higher impact guns out in the market can deliver as much as 1,500 foot pounds of brake force. Right. And that's a lot of force punching down on this thing. Yeah. Well, if you think about that and you think about the amount of pressure per square inch is being delivered, these little push rods are about three eighths of an inch in diameter. So typical uh, layman terms engineering is that you have a lot of pounds per square inch distributed on this knuckle. And what Tommy Rail does is allows it to maintain stability, allows it to deliver that, that pressure exactly where it needs, which is on the knuckle to pull straight off. Right, right, exactly. Well, that's great. You know, Jeffrey, I really appreciate you taking the time to walk us through that. I think this is just, you know, yet another little insight into Tommy Rail that our readers will really enjoy. So thank you so much for taking the time today. You're welcome. Thank you, Amanda, for the time.